Hello, my name is George Matos. I'm the host, producer, and creator of The Literature Show. And here is my co-host, Mr. Trevor Dubery. Hi, my name is Trevor Dubery. I'm the co-host of The Literature Show, and we're here with Julie Swayze. And uh, she will tell us about her store in Los Angeles. Hi, um, I own Metropolis Books with my husband, Stephen Bowie. It's located at 440 South Main Street between 4th and 5th, and we are a general bookstore um, with lots of fiction, classics, and all the bestsellers. Excellent. We're very glad and overjoyed to be here because uh, our thing is books, so uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. So tell us a little bit about your store. We opened December 1st, and um, I actually come from a background of retail. I have a business degree, and I worked 17 years as a store manager for Robinson's, May, oh, excuse me, for Cost Plus and Pure One Imports, and four years as a buyer for Robinson's May for stationery and gifts. So, so to put all that background together, and I worked with Valley Economic Development um, Community Group, and they found the space here in the Canadian building and helped negotiate the lease. And um, after that, I just sort of began buying books and opened up. <laughs> and and why do you feel that it was important that you have a bookstore in this particular location in downtown Los Angeles? Actually, I had looked at what market was underserved because when you put a new business together, you want to be sure that you're actually uh, in a market that could support you. In other words, a feasibility study um, that will determine if it's viable. So um, with the... Uh, Pasadena was very much a saturated market in terms of retail, and I couldn't even actually find a space to lease that would have been the right size. Downtown's an underserved market. A lot of the retail dollars leave downtown and are in Pasadena, West L.A., Los Feliz, so it made sense. Plus, there aren't any general bookstores, and uh, my friend Mark Schumacher uh, opened the bank, Old Bank DVD store in 2005, and it just sort of gave me the idea that if you were to open a business, that downtown is definitely populated and underserved with the retail market. I just, it, again, it was a market, it was close to Mark Schumacher's store, and I just sort of felt that with, with book DVDs, that actually books <laughs> made sense as well. <laughs> so um, it just seemed like since, you know, I, the historic core was available, I did look at some areas that were a little bit further um, east and west of here, and they just seemed to be where there wasn't a lot of activity, where Main Street seemed to be sort of starting that sort of renaissance, um, more so as a street, and some of the other stores, where it was just seemed like there was lofts, but not really a lot of retail, and I definitely wanted to put a bookstore by, um, by residents, and not have them sort of have to hike to come get me, but kind of be in the center of where they were, so sort of the center of um, where all the lofts are being built. Um, I see over here in this section, over to my left, that you have a lot of books in relationship to the early history of the downtown area. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can take a look at those. Okay. This is one of our more popular areas. It's the historic uh, books that are on historic Los Angeles, uh, the historic core. I mean, you actually can even see in this book the um, uh, Canadian building, which we're standing in, that was built in 1909, and the photos from actually from 1911. And other books are Art Deco, Boyle Heights, Olvera Street, uh, the Pacific Electric Red Cars, and Chester Place. And people just love these books because they basically just go back into the history of, of Los Angeles, and they can see the buildings that they live in. Tell us about the people who wrote these books. Are these individuals historians? Are they local uh, residents? Uh, all of the people that wrote these books, and, and actually they'll be in, uh, in, in March to sign these books, uh, eight of the authors, are local historians. They all live within the historic core in the area and have done extensive research and archives and the people who just have a passion for the past, of Los, or Los Angeles past. Uh, Julie, I realize that uh, there is a uh, diversity of books here as I look around. You have uh, Paula Coelho, I've read that book. Actually, you have Devil and uh, Miss Pine, and I, I read one of his books, mm -hmm. um, The Alchemist. And I noticed that you have a diversity of uh, books in your bookstore. As an African-American owner, um, why not just African-American books? Well, I I think that sort of lends itself to the actual market that you're in. And if the historic core had, say, four bookstores and were served by Borders and Barnes and Noble, that and also had several um, uh, 
you know, independence, then you could really become a, a, a niche market where you basically could have a mystery bookstore and a fantasy bookstore and an African American bookstore. But being that this is sort of an emerging area, you can't really, you really should go general. And um, I think that basically you're kind of serving everybody in the community because I do have different sections and things like that. But what's really actually selling is just a little bit of everything because if there's no bookstore, certainly <laughs> just having a bookstore means that you have a selection you didn't have, say, in November of 2006 you now have um, a wide selection so to go so narrow so soon you really can't um, do that it, it, it wouldn't make a, it would be practical I actually own the store with my husband Steve Bowie who's um, he's sort of a silent partner he still is a uh, works his regular job he's an engineer for North of Grumman but he does help me out uh, occasionally for art walk and sometimes on the weekend